the number one thing you can do for professional level audio is to keep the microphone close to your mouth. Like right now, it's maybe 18 inches away from my mouth and it sounds really good. But what you're thinking, Trevor, that's way too much nose. So you can just, you know, zoom out a little bit. And right now the audio still sounds great and there's less nose. But you're also probably thinking, Trevor, you probably have some fancy microphone in there. And, and I do, I've got a, a Rode microphone on here, a shotgun mic that's like 300 bucks. But look at this, if I just break up my camera and doing this live so you don't think I'm cheating. And here's, here's, the, here's the camera on my phone and I'm gonna go like this. And now I'm recording with my cell phone and using my cell phone audio. And that still sounds really good, why? Because the mic is, you know, it's, it's close to my mouth. But what if you don't want to be so close to the camera? What if you start walking back and you get farther and farther and farther and, you know, you could turn the volume up in your editing program like CapCut. That's going to help some. You're going to pick up more background noise. And with a mic like this, it's not as bad because it's a shotgun mic. It's pointed right at my face. But we can, we can do much better. You can get a little lapel mic like this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Any of them will work about the same. And you just, just plug them in. And I'm gonna just do it live so you can see the difference between using the shotgun mic and the lapel mic. It's gonna go clicky clicky so, you know, plug your ears. Now we're just using the camera mic with, with nothing plugged in. That's, you never wanna use the camera mic. They're usually kind of cruddy. And now we're gonna plug in this mic. And now I have a lapel mic and this should sound pretty great as well. Now this one happens to be a short one. This one is just meant to, you know, get wired up your shirt. But I can go back, you know, a couple feet and it's still going to sound great. You can get these that have cables that are like 20 feet long and it's a great way to get cheap audio. But here's, here's another option. But what if you want to go farther away than, you know, 20 feet from a cable and you still want the audio to sound good? Watch this. We're just going to walk away. And you'll hear the audio getting, you know, it's more and more faded. I'm not going to bump it up and post. I'm just going to leave it like this. You're probably barely hearing it so far away. If I can go way down here, and look at this. I can just hit the audio recorder on my phone. Any smartphone has something like this where you can record just audio, whether it's an iPhone or Android. And now it doesn't matter where I am. I could just, I could walk to the end of the dock. And now I'm recording the audio on my phone, and I'll sync it up afterwards in CapCut, which I'll show you how to do in a minute and it's gonna sound freaking amazing. You know, the microphone on my phone, I've got, you know, a two or three year old iPhone, isn't nearly as good as the mic on the camera, but it's gonna be very usable and sound very good. So what if you don't wanna use a big long cable or you don't wanna have to sing it up in post? Is there something else you can do? Yeah, I, I got you. You're gonna wanna grab a wireless mic, something like this. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2. There's a bunch of options out there. And with this one, I, I should not be laughing. I literally just dropped my Rode Wireless Scope into the water forever, so I can't show you. But uh, trust me, I could walk 300 feet that way and it would sound great. I guess it's time to upgrade my wireless mic. Dude, I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> Let that be a lesson. Don't hold your wireless mics over the ocean, it's, it's bad. While we're outside without a wireless mic, let me show you one other hack that I learned from Peter McKinnon a long time ago. Sometimes you want to narrate while you're showing things. And if I just turn the camera around and go, hey, look where we are, you can't hear me very well because the mic is, uh, is up there, it's facing the wrong direction. So uh, here's the hack. I'm just gonna use my, uh, my iPhone so I can show you. So on the top of the camera, I got the shotgun mic facing that way, but if I flip it around like this, and you're, you're going to want to make sure that you lock it on so it doesn't fall in the water with your with your other mic. Now, I can pick up this camera and turn it around, and now I can narrate like this. I can say, hey, here we are in the San Francisco Bay on this estuary, and I can point everything out and like slowly pan, and you have this great, beautiful audio that sounds perfect. And we can say, hey, look over there, a couple of Coast Guard ships, pretty nifty. This is a great way to have perfect audio while you're showing the world exactly where you are and what you're doing. Even though I know all this stuff, I sometimes don't always have clean audio. So let me show you how to clean up noisy audio in CapCut. Oof. <laughs> Never get used to that, not teleporting things to mother. You'll notice right now that I've got my microphone close to my mouth. It's only like eight inches away from my mouth and it could be on the camera a couple feet away, but it just sounds better right here. I don't love having it here. 
real life. I don't love having it sitting right here. I don't have a brand deal with Rode. I like their mics, but uh, it's worth having the mic in the frame just for the good audio. Ooh, one more thing before I show you how to fix bad audio. You wanna make sure that your environment doesn't have ugly background noise, if at all possible. If you're outside, go somewhere quieter, like not a noisy street, busy intersection, not a noisy mall that makes it rough. If you're indoors, you have a lot more control. You wanna be in a space that hopefully has a lot of soft surfaces like cushions, couches, curtains, carpet, and that reduces the echo, like filming in a kitchen is not a great idea. And if you can turn some things off, like listen really carefully, I'm gonna be really quiet so you can hear. Hear that? That's the refrigerator here in the boat. And I can turn that, luckily it's super convenient. I just go over here and uh, listen, I'm gonna be quiet so you can hear it. Fridge on. Fridge off. So now we've got better audio for recording the rest of this video. Now let's jump into CapCut for real and import some footage. Click on import, jump over to Lost Hat. I actually sailed this boat from Redonda Beach, that's Los Angeles, all the way up to San Francisco just a few days ago. It was kind of wild. There's a few videos on my travel channel, Life on Tether, if you want to check that out, and there'll be, there'll be more coming. But this video right here, I filmed using my iPhone, which has, you know, a crappy mic, and it was really loud and windy and rough out. So I'm just going to play this for you so you can see what the audio sounds like without us messing with it. Just raw audio from an iPhone, way out at sea. Make this full screen for you. Rough out here today. Ah, hat. Hat's gone. Not getting that one. <laughs> no, that See that? That's, Goodbye, little hat. That's that's my little uh, Walmart baseball cap gone forever. And you can kind of hear what's going on, but we can make this audio much better. So it's going to make sure that the clip is highlighted in the timeline. And I'm going to jump over here to audio, and we have a few features now. Some of these are pro, and some of these are free. And guys, I know a lot of you are complaining that I'm showing pro features in CapCut. If you want to try CapCut Pro for free, there's a link in the description where CapCut will let you try it for free. So check that out. But if you're serious about YouTube, you got to you got you got to get a real editing program or at least pay for the pro version. You can do everything you need to do in the free version, but some of these pro features are pretty great and in fact, I like the noise reduction features in CapCut Pro much better than the ones in Adobe Premiere. And I've, I've messed with both of them. And you tell me what you think in the comments if you've happened to try both. That Lost Hat video for you to play with and all the elements that I share with you in this video are linked in the description below. So make sure you click that link and download the elements so you can play with them too. Let's start by using the free noise reduction feature here in CapCut. If I just scroll down, there's one called Reduce Noise. Let me play a little bit of it for you with the noise. It's a little rough out here today. And you know, it's okay. And here it is without the noise, with just this free reduce noise feature. It's a little rough out here today. So that's a little better, but we can make it way better with the pro feature called vocal isolation. I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna take a second. We can either keep the vocal or remove the vocal because we have just the background noise. We're gonna keep the vocal and it takes a second to process because I've already done it. It already knows what to do. So you might have to be a little patient, but here's what this sounds like with this vocal isolation feature, which is amazing. Listen to this. Nothing. It's a little rough out here today. <laughs> what? All of the noise is gone. It sounds pretty amazing. We can make it a little better with this other pro feature called Enhance Voice. So just so you can get a handle on it, here it is without it. It's a little rough out here today. And with Enhance Voice, I'm just gonna crank it all the way up. And what does this sound like? A little rough out here today. A little better, sounds like it's in a studio practically. What's another thing we can do to make it even better? We can just click on normalize loudness. That brings all the levels up to a standard level and you can actually see it down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate the audio, I'm gonna extract the audio here so you can see the audio levels better. I'm gonna right click here and choose extract audio. Now we can see the audio waveforms much better and I'm going to click on the audio again and choose normalize loudness and watch what happens here. It's going to raise the levels that are too low. Bam, you can see that. And now it sounds like this. A little rough out here today. That's pretty great too. And one more thing you might be thinking of is like, well, Trevor, like you, you lost all of the magic of being on the ocean. So how can we have some of that magic and the very clean audio, we're just gonna duplicate this audio track. To do that, I'm gonna hold down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC, and click and drag, and bam, I've just duplicated this track. And 
we're not done yet. We need to just get rid of all those filters. So I'm gonna turn all of this stuff off. Click, 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 and click, and click. And now I've got all this noise again. It's a little rough around here today. But we don't really want that. We just want it to be a little bit of background noise. So I'm just going to make sure this bottom one is highlighted with all of the noise built in, and just drag the volume down a little bit. And then I get a little bit of this background noise, and I get my nice clean audio, which looks like this. It's a little rough around here today. Ah! And we could, you know, maybe drag it up a little bit, and then... It's a little rough around here today. Ah, hat. So we get the background noise and we get the clean audio so you can actually hear what I'm saying. And if you want to learn way more about using audio, using CapCut, especially for a beginner, this, I, I made a course that is specifically designed for beginners. If you know nothing about editing, you're going to want this course, Edit with Trevin Master CapCut. I teach you everything that CapCut does. Plus I teach you how to get more views and more subscribers on your videos. Like I promise you, if you just do the things I tell you in the course, in section two, you will get more views and more subscribers than you're getting now. I promise it's guaranteed. If not, I, I give you a full refund. So check out that link like right there or right there, or uh, click on the link in the description. Now let's jump into CapCut and sync the audio recorded on my phone with the video that I filmed on my camera. So I'm going to click on import, I'm gonna jump into this folder with free stuff in it. Far, walking far away with the iPhone, makes it really easy. You guys have access to this, by the way. Just hit the link in the description and you can download all these free elements so you can learn how to do this. And it's, it's, it's fun and it's easy. We're first gonna drag this video down here. And you may recall, you saw this earlier in the video. But what if you wanna go farther away? So it's the video where I kinda of walk away and then the audio gets really faded here. And right here is the audio recorded with my iPhone. I'm just gonna drop it down here and it's not in sync. You can hear it's not in sync. It has something, something like, like this where you can read. So not in sync there. How do you get it in sync? Well, you could manually try to find it or you could just select both of these tracks and right click and choose sync video and audio. And it quickly found exactly where it goes. Now watch this. We're fading here. The audio is faded here, but listen. Any smartphone has something like this where you can record just audio, whether it's an iPhone or Android. Look at that. You don't need to buy anything fancy. You can just use your phone, iPhone, Android, record the audio and just sync it after in CapCut. And it's literally one click to sync it. Now I'm gonna play that Lost Hat fixed audio so you can watch the whole thing right now. It's a little rough around here today. Ah, hat. Right. Hat's gone. <laughs> Not getting that one. <laughs> no, that was gone. <laughs> Goodbye, little hat. To watch what is probably the best video I've ever created on this channel and to learn how to mix audio like a Hollywood editor, you want to click on this video right here where I'm also going to give you a hundred free sound effects.